It's almost impossible to explain how friendship happens. We bump into so many people in a lifetime, but only a few of them will we ever regard as friends. Often it's someone who's just like us, but in some cases, it's someone who is our exact opposite. Just before the war broke out, Alan Simpson and Norman Mineta were 10-year-olds living lives immune from the world's ugly realities. Simpson was a carefree kid in Cody, Wyoming. He spent his time looking for snakes and rabbits in the rugged countryside. Mineta's love was baseball. Seldom would you find him without his ball and glove in San Jose, California. Two energetic boys immersed in their own worlds until the very frightening real world interrupted. Here in the land of Buffalo Bill, the government is erecting model camp towns, towns in which they'll live unmolested, not as prisoners, but free to work and paid by the United States government. The thing that made us all concerned was the, the barbed wire fence and the guard towers and the, the guards and the guns in the tower, all aimed inside. It wouldn't matter who was out there. That would spook you up. So we board the trains at the freight station. Now for an 11-year-old kid, this is, oh boy. Let me tell you, if you think there was any good feeling toward the Japanese in 1941 and 42, you're crazy as hell. A restaurant owner, sign says, no Japs allowed. You sons of bitches killed my son. That's pretty clear. And as the train was pulling out of San Jose, I looked around, looked at my dad, and all these tears were coming down. What helped Norman cope with life at a concentration camp, like many other boys, the Boy Scouts. They had their band, their activities, their competitions. And then one day, after so many other troops were refused, one troop from outside was willing to come to the camp and have a jamboree with the boys behind barbed wire. They were from Cody, and Al was one of them. It never even occurred to him what that visit meant. I really didn't think of that. I wanted to see if he could do better knots than I could, you know, or beaded. You know, we did all sorts of beading, you know. Yeah, it was goofy. And then we got paired off to a, with a Boy Scout from Cody to build a pup tent. Simpson and Minetta were paired together. As trivial as it seemed, it was magic. So you always have to build a moat around the tent to protect the tent from the water. So we were building this moat, and he said, do you mind if we wanted to cut the water to exit? That way, as luck would have it, we had a big rainstorm. Our moat worked perfectly, and the water exited to the tent below us, and that tent collapsed. And Norm says that I laughed uh, insanely. <laughs> but that can't be true. He had to be laughing, too. He's such a kick in the pants. He is just funny. I guess we're just pretty pesky guys. We still are. Well, we're going to stampede you. <laughs> oh. He's pesky, and so am I. So you don't want to stay with the bland people. You want to be with the pesky people, the, the spirited people. The spirited colt makes the best horse. A memorable beginning, but it's what happened years later that makes this friendship remarkable.